Hello friends, in this video I am going to do one equation of uh, simultaneous equation question. <coughs> so let's read the question. Okay. A number of students are placed in two rooms D3 and D4. If two students were to be taken from D4 to D5, say let me draw a room, suppose say this is a room these are two rooms okay what are they saying so this is a room d4 and this is room d5 if two students go from year to year so a has so d4 has a students and d5 has suppose let me write a yeah okay a is fine there okay so what happens so it has A students and D5 has five B students. Now this if two students are taken from D4 to D5. So if you take away two students from here, two students. So the first situation is two students. Say let me draw the two students. So these are the two students are going from year to year. So what will happen to this? So this will become A minus 2 and this will become B plus 2. Am I making sense? So your two students are going from year to year. So this will have two less students and this room will have two more students. Okay. Then there would be same number of students in each room. Same number of students in each room. So can I say this will become equal to this? So I can say A minus 2 is equal to B plus 2. So let us simplify this. I want to write, I want to eliminate this minus 2. Yes, so I'll add 2 to this side. So I'll add 2 to this side. So the first situation, or this is the first equation, A is equal to B plus 4. So let us write this as the first equation equation one okay now if instead three students were transferred from d5 to d4 let me draw the two rooms again so this is again this is the second situation what they're saying is now this is say again d5 and this is your d4 now the transfer is from year to year Three students are transferred from D5 to, so you've got B becomes, this B becomes B plus 2 in this. Here, let me draw that arrow better. So this B, so three students, now this is our three students. Okay. They don't have faces, so let me make them faces. Okay, I hope you understand. So this will become B now will become B minus 3 and this will have A, A will become now A plus 3. That's fine. Okay, now the <coughs> then what's happening? There would be twice as many students in A4 as A5. This is a difficult, let us break this. So this will be, what they're saying is if this happens, a4 will have twice as many students in D5. So I can say because of this transfer, A plus 3 is twice of the number of students that will remain in D5. So that is 2 times B minus 3. Okay. So let us simplify this a little. So that is A plus 3 is equal to 2B minus 6. Okay, so what will happen? I want again to write this in terms of, um, am I doing something wrong? No. Instead of 3 students were transferred from, yeah, from D5 to D4, there will be twice as many students in D4. So that is twice as many in D5. So this is, if you add, let me change color, if you add, sorry, if you take away 3 from this side, you have to take away 3 from this side. So A, again let me change a different color, A is equal to 2B minus 9. So this is my 2B minus 9. So this is my second equation. Okay. 
So now look at equation 1 and e equation 2. Equation 1 says a is equal to b plus 4 and equation b says a is equal to 2b minus 9. So therefore from 2 and 1 or 1 and 2, I'll write 2 and 1, I'll, I want to write 2 first. Can I say this 2b minus 9 is equal to a plus 4? It's a very simple argument. Suppose listen to this argument. Suppose I say, let me pick a number. Suppose 6 is equal to 5 plus 1. And so 6 is equal to 10 minus 4. They both are 6. So from this 2, I can make a three third statement that 5 plus 1 is equal to 10 minus 6. So just to explain the next step, based on this argument, I hope now you understand, I can say 2b minus 9 is equal to b plus 4. So I, I want to get rid of this minus 9, so I have to add 9 to this side, I have to add 9 to this side. I want to bring the b's on the left hand side, so I'll take away b from this side, so I'll take away b from this side. So this, this will become what will this become? So this and this will get cancelled and this and this will be cancelled. So we are left with 2b minus b is b is equal to 13. We'll check this answer. Okay, so now what do we know about? We know a is equal to, you can take either one of these equations, a is b plus 4 which implies 13 plus 4 is a is 17. So there are 17 students in so let us understand the question. There are 17, so let me take a new color. So what they're saying is there are 17 students in A and 13 students in B. So if two students go from year to year, you will have 15 year and 15 year. Does it make sense? 17 minus 2 is 15 and 13 plus 2 is 15. Now if it happens the other way around, you have started with 13 year and 17 year. So if 3 comes here, you will have 20 year. And what will, have, what will you have? You will have 10 year. Can you see that 20 is twice as many as in B? Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next one.